Hello friends, this is Cauldron, back with Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in the Haven Chapel. Uh, mostly meandering around a bit, talking to people, learning stuff. All good things. And the first thing I want to do, before I even talk to Maneve for this quest, is I want to... I could swear I was in this room when I left. I don't know. Um, I am going to check if there's more research I can get started, because I, I got the... I got one piece of research started already, or I completed it, the like Inquisition power upgrade or something, and I want to see if I can get another one. Nice work with those supplies. Thank you. The smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. So I just still don't quite know what that means. Like if, yeah, let's cancel out of this. I still don't quite know what that means. Like whether there's going to be random off-camera things that, like, I'll get better rewards from if the character, if my if the Inquisition soldiers have good armor, but we'll see. No schematics available. So this is where... okay. So I guess this is... I'm not sure where I get schematics, but this is where I could get, like, upgrade their armor or whatever. Okay, we are here now. Uh, we... this is the place we want to look at. So you are going to get Demon Essence, I think. Let's see, item, turn in research. Yes. Good. Remove the Shadow Essence. Remove Druffalo Claws. I... this is happening automatically, I guess? No Creaser research. Oh, that's... okay! Okay, this is... because I picked up some things that, um... We're like creature research items, and this is where I turn them in. I for I forgot about about that. You're the herald, or well, the one they're calling the herald. Anyway, I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the circle. My name is Maeve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. Okay, so. That's really interesting. Okay, and it's also interesting because the Inquisition is right as it is right now is, I guess, a temporary thing. Um, she's like, let's let's get this demon stuff over, this breach stuff over with, so the Inquisition can disband and I can go back to the circle. I, is that, I yeah, I think she she at least assumes the Inquisition is a stopgap between the chaos that there is now and the future where there's another a, a stable circle and mages in the Chantry. Um, I have something for you. The demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there, and the tranquil and I will examine it. Oh, the tranquil. Those guys creep me out. You've brought back some facts. Maybe they shouldn't. We're putting them to good use. Um. So you were a mage. You said you were a mage. No, just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. But just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in, along with the Tranquil and to protect me. Uh, okay, yeah. You did join the rebels. I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that help us unlock the secrets of the veil. I like having the Templars around to keep us safe. Yeah, a behind the a behind the scenes mage. Oh, is this what's this icon? Is this an elf? It's definitely an elf. This must be an elf specific icon. That's really cool. You might have done well among the Dalish. Our mages are encouraged to study safely. Fenerbah take the Dalish. Don't let my lack of balancing fool you. I was a proud member of my clan until my magic manifested. You know what happens when they have too many weaknesses. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I normally I'd want to be empathetic, but I think my character really likes her, her clan and really likes being par a part of the Dalish and is kind of defensive about this. So, so my character assumed that because she was in, she was a mage that she'd be treated well. But no, she was tossed out. My clan never did that. 
We sent those gifted with magic to other clans, or... I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fists. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. That's really interesting. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquils safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquils, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, not defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. I honestly feel... Really matter now. I honestly feel bad for finding them, like, creepy before. Um, because it, it's true that they're, it's disconcerting, but it shouldn't be, like, they're not hostile, I don't think. You say Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Um, Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense for her. Like some monster is coming at you. Glowing eyes and burning claws. Terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. Yeah, I'll see with you later. Thank you again for what you brought back. So I wonder what the practical impact of that is. Turn in research note. Anything, please bring it in. So what is it like where do I see what the impact of that is? Where do I see like the bonuses I got from that or I assume there would be new new codices from them, but it doesn't look like it. Um I'm looking for the oh there it is. Researcher. Enemies drop unique collectibles. Bring them to the researcher to learn more about your foes and earn combat bonuses against them. So if I go out against the Druffalo right now, will that does that mean I'm gonna be stronger against them? Who are you? You look awesome. I like your hair. You don't have a name. I tried talking to you and I just jumped instead. You're just wondering the hell is this? I was excited to meet the Herald of Andraste, and they're just jumping in front of me over and over. Get me out of here. Read. The children... Okay, so the XP bar, plus 50. The children of Andraste. There are many misconceptions regarding Andraste's bloodline, Monsieur. Monsieur. This is due, I should think, to a general lack of knowledge regarding Andraste's mortal life. Understandable, considering the many cults that arose following her death. Everyone sought to claim Our Lady for their own culture, or claimed some aspect of her existence was a lie. All of them complete fabrications. My order has done considerable research to ascertain the truth. <clears throat> we all know Andraste and the Betrayer. I don't, I don't know the Betrayer. It rings a vague bell, but I don't really know who the Betrayer is. Um... I'm probably read to bed and just forgot. We all know Andraste and the Betrayer raised five children. The eldest three were sons, Isaroth, Evrian, and Verald. The rule of what was once southern to Venter was split among them. Isarath was given the west, what is today Orlay. Evrian was given the east, what is today the Free Marches. Verald was given the central Planocene, what is today Navarra. What became of these men and their legacies is the stuff of legend and the majority of claimants to Andraste's bloodline link back to one of them. None of the three sons, however, were born of Andraste. They were born of the betrayer's concubine, Kilavan. People chose to choose to overlook the fact that Andraste came from the Alamari tribesmen, 
and that they were barbarians, not the Ferelden's we know today. So the Alamari were barbarians, and she was one of those. Um, they were savage warriors who took concubines in addition to their wives, and because Andraste thought was thought to be too weak to bear children, the betrayer took Gilavan to provide him heirs, which she did. After her death, the sons were raised as Andraste's own. So she has no, no direct blood descent, no direct uh, blood descendants. <clears throat> Later in life, Andraste proved predictions wrong. Oh, never mind. Uh, proved predictions wrong and had two daughters by the betrayer, Ebris and Viviel. They were kept out of the public eye and not permitted to marry, though both had consorts. Ebris had but one child, Ali Vemar. I'm never going to remember any of these names, not a single one who perished on a voyage to Denerim, less than a month after her mother fell to plague. Andraste died of the plague. I didn't know that. Um, and without children of her own, the younger daughter, Viviel, was more controversial, a strong-headed woman who defied her family by falling in love with a mage of Deventer, Regulin. Viviel and Regulin went into self-imposed exile as the Exalted March began. I don't know what the Exalted March is and into hiding following Andraste's betrayal and murder. Um, I'm guessing the person who did the betraying is the betrayer, is her, her husband. Uh, what became of Viviel and her descendants is largely unknown because, for one primary reason, she had only daughters. Each of those daughters only had daughters. They married into other families and took other names, and in the chaos of the Second Blight, all traces of the survivors were lost. Andraste's true bloodline, if it exists, lies solely in the descendants of Viviel, and the suspicion of my order is that it produces only daughters. So Viviel's line only produces daughters. Thus the claims of your young men, monsieur, are highly suspect. So who's the... oh, and uh, who's that by? Sister... from a letter by Sister Galena of the Augustan Order, Dragon Twelve. So who's that to? It's just to someone claiming Andraste's bloodline as their own? Um, yeah, it must be. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Very interesting. Anything here before I talk to Josephine? Nothing I see. Good day to you. Good day to you, too. Let's investigate this good day. Um... So I have to. I, I want a. Um, let's start top left to bottom left, and then start up, and then up again to the right when I'm in doubt. How did you meet Liliana? How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in your life. Mm. I believe we actually met in Basel and Hope. Liliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. And so this brings me this question mark based on what Aprustian told me, brings me back to the prior conversation, and so if I want to pursue this, I continue with the five-pointed star. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. I immediately want to ship Liliana with literally all the people, with everyone. But I will refrain from doing so. As what best I can. Your job entail? I meet with ambassadors from various factions and countries, and cement alliances with them. We are a young cause. Diplomacy is essential to our credibility. <clears throat> then you speak for the Inquisition with these nobles? I do. Someone must foster good well as prevent controversy as news of us spreads. And I'm sure it will spread. How heavily are our actions scrutinized? I mean, very. Make no mistake. Every noble house, every throne, is waiting to see what the Inquisition does next. Many are willing to pledge support if offers are made in just the right fashion. I intend to see that they are. You are worthy and respected and appreciated. Uh, let's do tell us me about yourself. What business were the Montelliers in exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore? Ah, no. Uh, these days <laughs> our vessels are a touch more modest. 
I like your voice actress a lot. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. Severin, that was his name. I've been trying to think for a while of what the Antivan I knew before was uh, from from Origins, and it was I think it was Severin, uh, who was the assassin, who was the um flirtatious assassin. How strong are your past loyalties? <clears throat> I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. I believe that. I not fall back on Volvos. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offers these ones to those in need. So we're definitely going to have um, meet resistance the more powerful we, we become, I'm certain. Um, even as we, like, the more the more good we do, the more people will probably like us. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. Your Worship? Goodbye. Let's speak later. Farewell. So let me try it. What happens if I talk to her again? Good day to you. Yeah, so there's always more stuff, I think. Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. They're such unrest invaders, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading. So she's a uh, practical, very practical. So was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt. And that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to a full-scale war. Um, hmm. Violence must be curbed before we see it turn to a full-scale war. Perhaps necessary? I don't think that. Absolutely agree. It is our fight. I mean, it the Inquisition came from this, so it kind of is our fight. I can only imagine the bloodshed if this escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Um, how are our guests? Oh, but the guests being the the mayor? I don't know what I don't know what that means. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? Um. Yeah. So, uh, by the I'll go top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Oh my God. Paths within paths. Uh, Colin's not as interesting, so let's talk about Cassandra. I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagash is a princess of the kingdom of Nevada, although that barely seems important. <laughs> she was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. What about your royal relations, Mr. Cat? Okay. Um. And now Cullen. Commander Cullen came to mind. The Commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our standing army. He does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. Ah, fuck! Oh my god, my cat just clawed his, off my legs. Oh god, okay, you can sit on my lap. Jesus, pigeon. Sorry for cussing there. <laughs> Sorry for this little interlude. <laughs> um, yeah, this seems to be kind of a common Templar trait. Um, this was, I remember from, even, even though he was, <clears throat> even though he was more upbeat, this was also kind of part of, I, I'm trying to remember his name, um, the king, uh, what's his name, the king from the first game, or not king, but the, you know, the blonde, jokey guy, um, 
this was kind of his shtick too, was he was very straight straightforward. Um, okay, so it still gives me the option to. No, I don't want. I want to back out of here. Let me try. I'm going to try skipping ahead this time. I was thinking of Okay, now mages. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. Sola, so only one. What's your impression of Sola? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety, and he has the most fascinating stories. Yeah. Okay. Are we, is this Varric? Yeah, this is just Varric. I was thinking of Varric. She's a fan of, like, Varric's literature. Uh, she's a fan of Varric's early work. She knew him before he was cool. Okay. So, a as I get... Later. As I meet people, I could probably come back and talk to her and get, like, her take on them. Uh, what do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on set How are guests? Let's talk about guests. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the Down abominations. A Just hero's hero. Don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. So a boring hero's hero. Okay, I think that's as far as we can go with her for now. Um, or as far as I'm going to go for now, at least, anyway. Um, so here's a question: Is it possible to see the record of which, which, um, like which car which um beasts or which enemies I have bonuses against, I wonder. So like in the codex, does it are those updated? No, it doesn't look like it. So like Druffalo is one of the things we got. Is there something new here? No, it doesn't say I was hoping it would be it would say like if I had plus one attack against Druffalo or something. So if Yeah, I guess if you know if you know of that then please let me know. If if there's a way to check like to check her the records I have from Menave. Hello. Can I help you with something? Um No, I think I've asked all that. I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. And if I miss stuff, I'm okay with that too. Please tell me if you find something. I found the need for you to tell me what I've already researched. Um all right, uh where do I have any more quests in Haven right now? Journal, nothing in Haven specifically. Um, but before I move on, I'm going to. What is this? The breach is calm. Troubles only begin to clear threats at the crossroads. I think the I think crossroads is in the hinterlands. So I'm gonna. Are the righteous, the lights and the shadow in there. Let me get away from you for a sec. I'm gonna check around town a little bit more to see if there's anything else I can find that's kind of worth worth doing or worth looking into and I'll catch up I'll, I'll keep recording again if I find anything interesting actually can I summon a war council what does this do will everyone just be annoyed that I'm wasting their time I now have access to missions Mission operations take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, which results in less time required when undertaken by the associated advisor. Missions may also provide different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. So, I think I've seen this before, but I don't, I don't really remember. Let's try for Relvin. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Have you had any trouble with them? Hard and high down. I will inform you. Okay. Um, oh man. There's a lot of stuff here. Scout the hinterlands. I completed that. What's the red dot here? I don't know. Rescue soldiers mission for all that so I don't have enough power for that, so that comes later. Gather coin seems okay. 
Scout the storm coast that comes later. Contact Clan Lavalin. Lavellin. Uh, Lavellin. I'll go with. Hard and High Town. It seems like there's a second thing there, isn't there? Oh, the Black Emporium. This is a, a, a DLC I got, and I'm not going to go there now. And I'm pretty sure that Contact Clan Lavellin is next, because I want to do elf stuff. But let me just check Orlay. I don't think I have anything here. Yeah, nothing here yet. So... Yeah, let's do this thing up here. Clan Lavellin offers greetings to the Inquisition and wishes it well in sealing the breach that has opened in the sky. While some Dalish clans hate humans and wish nothing to do with them, Clan Lavellin has always dealt fairly with all and wished only for peace. That said, we have on occasion been forced to defend ourselves from those who saw us only as potential victims. <coughs> It has come to our attention that a member of our clan is being held captive by your Inquisition. Really? She went to the Conclave... Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> she went to the Conclave only to observe the peace talks between your mages and Templars, and we find it highly unlikely that she intentionally violated your customs. If she has been charged with a crime, we would appreciate hearing of it. If not, it would ease our concerns to hear from her, to know that she remains with the Inquisition of her, of her, own, of her own will. We await your reply. Keep her... Istabathoria Lavellum. Required time, 15 minutes. So I can send Cullen, Liliana, or Josephine. Your people must be approached carefully. Oh, oh, there's a different dialogue for each of them specific to this mission. That's really cool. And it looks like one is preferred. No, it's hard to tell. No, it's not. I, I saw the star to the bottom left there, but that's just a map thing. Uh, all right, Josephine, your people must be approached carefully. One of our elven scribes could deliver a message and share news of the Inquisitor's fair treatment. Liliana, the Dalish respect deeds, not words. Let my elven agents deliver something the clan needs as a show of good faith. Cullen, my troops can deliver news of your safety and make it clear that the Inquisitor should be taken seriously. I think I'm going to go with Josephine here. At your service. Uh, oh, and it's ticking down, so it's real time. Okay. Um, can I do more? Address a nobleman's concerns. Herald, your Inquisition says it's for order against chaos, reason, and darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my land. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates among them, filthy savages, grump, uh, tearing at our roots. Our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your faith. Pigeon, you have so much fur, you're just shedding all over my controller. Um, prove your loyalty. Okay. Uh, praise the light, Lord Kildarn of Ferelden. So, we got uh, a little wine-nosed dude in the middle, someone whispering to him, and, and uh, Beardy Beardison on the right. Yeah, let's do Cullen for this. Oh. Oh, yeah, because Lord Kildarn sounds like kind of a jerk. Um, um, so Josephine would want to uh, yes, Lord Kildarn a pariah among even his peers or to send a polite refusal and nothing more hmm. Liliana, we can take advantage of his raving my spies can harass the refugees into moving somewhere else to win Lord Kildarn's favor Colin, we could send a few patrols but I prefer they help the refugees not this Lord Kildarn I'm kind of with Cullen on this. Um, yeah, he seems like a jerk face. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. You're going to be refugees, but I've seen elves and apostates. Yeah, I'm on Team Elf here. I'm going to send Cullen to help out the elves. To work? Yep. So now I want to see if there's something that I can do use Liliana for best. Um, let's take a look at Hard and High Town. Um, uh, Ruffles. <laughs> Ruffles. 
I need a favor. Actually, let's call it a loan, since I'll pay it back. I got a letter from my editor in Kirkwall today. She tells me that Hard in Hightown 3, the re... <laughs> Sorry, bitches. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Try I can't see the screen. <laughs> she tells me that. Tells me that Heart in High Town 3, the repunching, <laughs> appeared in print from an Antifa printer a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is that title. <laughs> not that funny, but it is. Um, either, so his editor told him that Hard in Hightown 3, the <laughs> repunching, appeared in print from an Antifa printer a couple of weeks ago. Um, I had my contacts in the Merchant's Guild look for the author a couple of years back. The best they could find out after spending a couple hundred gold was that Peril Bellinforth is a pen name. I could have told them that for free. Um, you got contacts with the Antifa print houses. Maybe you could find out more than the guild. Hmm. So, all right, I don't know who Ruffles is. Is that me? Am I Ruffles? I don't know. Um, all right, so he got, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to process this after that name. That name took me by surprise. I wasn't ready for that. Um, I got a letter from my editor, so he has an editor in Kirkwall for his books. Hard in Hightown 3, I can't say that name again, appeared in print from an Antifa printer a couple of weeks ago. Um, okay, so someone someone hijacked it and someone is like publishing without his consent and like stealing his work. Okay. Yeah, let's sell Liana, send Liliana for this. Um, let's see what we have. Okay. So we got three active, um, and while that is, while they're doing that, I will continue to explore around town. Um, yeah. Activate quests by accessing your quest journal from the hero menu by pressing options. Your active quest is tracked on the screen. We'll travel when not in a dungeon. Ooh, a dungeon. Interesting. You can use the quest map to travel to distant locations. Press options and select the quest map triangle from the quest map to access the world map and travel to unlocked areas. So if I go here to quest map, um, huh. world map, and I can go to unlocked areas. So I've unlocked here and if I press X I'd view this and I can see I can go to different spots here. So I can just go here. I can set this to active. I don't know what that means. Outskirts camp. I'm not going to try this right now, but that's good to know. Wait, can I do that even in here? Can I, like, go here? Can I go here to Cullen? Um, or to the logging camp? So, like, what if I toggle... No, that just toggles a waypoint. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I'm going to call it here, I think. Uh, anything else I can find here in town? Like by pressing my tar my sonar. Um, probably, but I'm going to I'm going to call it just a, I'm going to look around town a little bit more and I'll call it. Okay, so I was looking around. I didn't find anything in the immediate vicinity worth noting. Um, next time I'm going to finish up see what happens when I the war quest uh, when the war council quests come back. Um, yeah, and um, I will leave you all for now, and thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.